Court of Bear Wear Day. I'm Dylan. And I'm Dee Dee. Thank you for watching the WBC announcements. Bear students and their teachers are very generous. We give to many charities throughout the year. During the fall, we donate pet food and blankets for the Humane Society. During Thanksgiving holidays, Bear students contribute boxes and boxes of food to area food banks. Well, another charity is jumping rope to raise awareness for the Heart Society. Our very own student, Logan B., has received a shout out yesterday for the student with the most contributions for Jump Rope for Heart. Today we are airing his interview. Enjoy! My name is Logan B. and I am in third grade. And Logan, what did you do that was so remarkable that we're interviewing you for WBEC on the spot? I made the most money for the Kids Heart Challenge. And it's called Jump Rope for Heart that Coach does every year. And how did you get that money? What did you have to do to get that money? I had to, I had to get my family to donate and I even donated myself. Wow. Hey Logan, how does it make you feel when you can donate to a good charity for a good cause? It feels like I'm actually saving lives because I also had to have surgery around when I was in first grade and I had this had surgery about last week so it, it makes me feel a lot better if I'm donating to other kids who have to have surgery. All right shout out to Miss Davenport's third grade and Logan B on the count of three. One, two, three. Woohoo! Thank you Logan. You're welcome. Wasn't yesterday afternoon a great way to end the day? Fifth grade team received their trophy from last week's first ever Mexico competition, where Bear took home the trophy for awaiting the feeder pattern five. That we were invited to um, World in Dallas, and but um, yeah, and we got a trophy and we got these medals. So this is because you guys are just wonderful, or what was the trophy for? Tell me the, what the winning um, category we got, was. Um, we got second place in Mexico. Yes, way to go, Bear! Woo! -hoo! Then Miss Harrison and Miss Moody got silly stringed by the class. Awesome. Humility with the Sport City Worldwide team. Humility is showing a winning attitude whether you lose or win. We are getting closer and closer to reaching our school's goal, but we just need everybody's help. An, an example I'm using is hoarding the elephant asking for everyone to save the town by yelling. We need every student to do their part. 
Another challenge is this weekend only since there is no Saturday school. Ooh, glad of that. Anyways, the student or any student who gets donations for a total of two dollars per lap, which is the same as sixty dollars flat donation over the weekend, will receive a Zoom ring. Wow! Um, does anybody know where Johnny is? No. Cool, cool, cool. So just me today then, or? And welcome to the Help Your School News Show, where we tell you everything you need to know about helping your school through your Boosterthon program. And here to tell us about how easy it is to use MyBooster.com is a student from a school just down the street from you. Ronnie, thank you for being here. Hey, uh, good to be here. Yeah, so me and my family registered last night, and it was super easy. There are all sorts of ways that my family can share with other people to help my school. Oh, like email, Facebook, text messages, those, those types of ways. Exactly those kinds of ways, yeah. Okay, well, Ronnie from a school just down the street from you. Thanks so much, Ronnie. All right, everyone. Well, it's time to check out another episode of Sports City Worldwide. Play it. Guys, guys, listen to this. I asked my buddy at the Associated Press to run a report on this Laku character, and get this. It says here, in 1982, he was responsible for stealing the crown jewels from the mob and returning them safely to the royal family. I heard he stole the Mona Lisa from a band of thieves and returned it to the Louvre. I heard he recovered the stolen Hope Diamond and returned it to the Smithsonian Museum. I heard he can hear us talking about it. Guys, we don't have time for this. We need to solve this riddle so we can get our documentaries back. Cherry blossoms are quite pretty, hidden in the largest city, where temples, lights, and fishy meats can be seen from the streets. Cherry blossoms, the largest city, fishy meats. It's gotta be Tokyo. Tokyo. We're running out of time. Holly and I need to hang back in case another riddle pops out of that box. Kenneth, this is your time to shine. Can you fly to Tokyo and air this video on live TV? Nope, no, nope. I am terrified of flying and public speaking. Plus, I have work here to do. Welcome back to Sports City Worldwide. We're live from Tokyo, Japan. Our next segment is all about a baseball player who knows how to play with humility. Meet Akira, a 12-year-old baseball player in Tokyo, Japan. Baseball is by far the most popular sport in Japan. They even have major league teams, like in the U.S. Akira has been playing since he was five years old, and now he plays for a team called the Junior Giants. Because Akira is a good hitter, pitcher, and center fielder, he's the captain of his team. And as the captain, his goal is to set a good example to his teammates. For Akira, the most important thing is showing humility. That means having a good attitude whether you win or lose. A team captain should be a role model for the other players on the team, and that's what Akira is. As a captain, he's a humble leader. He considers himself a part of the team, and he values all of his teammates. And I think that's what makes him a good leader, and why his teammates look up to him. After every game, Akira and his team show humility by lining up and saluting the other team. Whether they've won or lost, it's a sign of respect. That way, they don't brag about winning or grumble about losing. Humility is especially important off the field. One time, Akira injured his arm and couldn't play baseball for a long time. His team made it to the championship game. I knew I had a choice. I could be upset about my injury and quit on my team, or I could support them and cheer them on. I could still be a leader, even if I couldn't play. And all he could do was clean the baseballs, collect the bats, and cheer for his teammates. That's when he learned what it means to be humble. It was a very humbling experience for Akira, but we were so proud to see how he handled it. A true leader leads with respect and humility, and that's why he's our captain. 
to Akira, humility is having a good attitude in the highs and lows of life. Akira plays with humility. Wow, another exceptional lesson from Sports City Worldwide. Yes, it really was, Sarah. I actually wrote this down. Humility is having a great attitude in both the highs and lows of life. Words to live by, Johnny. Words to live by. That about wraps it up for today. I'm Sarah with an H. And I'm Johnny. Good night. So this is your chance to earn a bonus price in addition to your normal price. And I'm hungry. Today, lunch is serving man your choice. I just know it'll be pizza. Please be pizza. It must be pizza. Mac and cheese. Moving on. Don't forget the milk. It does the body good. Today, forecast will be nice until it isn't. Temperatures will be will drop until no one, I repeat, no one will want to venture out tomorrow. Just remember, you heard it here first. It'll be cold tomorrow. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, listen to the Bear School song, and then pause for a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's shake, rattle, and roll, or boogie on down, and get your groove on for learning.